Hello and welcome to the General's Reviews. I'm Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80 from the Full Force Podcast, and I'm joining Justin Bell from What's On Joe Mind and General's Joes to bring you this review of the Vitruvian Hacks Eternal Struggle 2-pack from Boss Fight Studio. We've already looked a little at the history of the Spartans and Gorgons, so instead let's look at the figures in more detail to see what separates them from the regular versions. Let's start with the Ringneck Gorgon. The ring neck shares the same body as all the other gorgons and the same head sculpts as the coral gorgon we looked at in a previous video. What sets her apart from the others is the incredibly striking purple and orange deco. Who would have thought those colours would have worked together? Boss fight, obviously. In terms of accessories, there's nothing here we haven't seen before. A sword, snake skull helmet, shield, a spear, figure stand and a spare set of hands. The figure is an awesome addition to the gorgon horde and looks incredible with the rest of her species. The Undead Warrior is so cool it hurts. Described as a servant of Hades, who is the god of the dead from Greek mythology of course, these figures are effectively the upcoming Athenian warrior cast in an awesome translucent purple plastic and look dramatic in any light. He looks like candy. Now I'm hungry. He comes with accessories cast in a shade of grey translucent plastic that includes a decorative chest armour and skirt, technically a Fustanella, Justin, or from now on a Justinella a spear, helmet, shield with an awesome tampo, sword and a black figure stand. Another cool addition to the hacks ranks and I will be army building these bad boys by the thousands. Justin is looking in more depth at the Eternal Snuggle, I mean Struggle, travelling convention exclusive today, so without further ado, here is Justin with the review. This is Justin from GeneralsJoes.com with another Generals Joe and Tell. This time we are taking a look at the Vitruvian hacks uh, Eternal Struggle Convention Exclusive 2-Pack from Boss Fight Studios. This is an interesting way for them to handle convention exclusives. Basically what Boss Fight Studios is doing is that every time they attend a particular show, they are um, bringing this exclusive 2-Pack with them to sell at the show, but so as not to leave out anybody who can't make it to the show, at the same time they are also posting it on their website for sale, but only while they are at that convention. So. It still does maintain a sense of exclusivity, but uh, makes it so everybody can get, get one if they want one. And uh, make sure you're, you're keeping an eye out. I think the next show they're going to actually is the Capital City Toy and Collectibles Show, which is in Concord, New Hampshire, on May 14th, 2016, which is coming right up. So if you like the looks of this pack and you think you might want it, make sure you keep your eye out for uh, that particular convention on May 14th because they will be available not only there at the show, I will be in attendance as well, but they will be available online at bossfightshop.com at the same time. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the uh, the Eternal Struggle 2-pack, which is the Undead Warrior versus the Ringneck Gorgon. I don't know if it's Gorgon or Gorgon. I kind of intermix the two and... Um, I apologize if I'm butchering that, but there's some really, really awesome package art. I think the package art on this particular piece is exceptionally well done. It looks kind of mystical. I won't read line for line kind of what the backstory is, but um, the nice thing about this this pack is that they, they really did kind of tie a story together. Uh, the Underworld Warrior, or Undead Warrior, is he Undead or Underworld? See, on the back it says Underworld, on the front it says Undead, so take it for whatever it's worth. But um, anyway, he's a servant of Hades, who is you know the Greek god of death, which is a, a pretty cool uh, storyline to stick with. Um, made me actually like the figure a little bit more than I did originally. Um, and then they've got some pretty cool stories about uh, the ringneck organ as well. It's always nice when, when, you've got a f when you've got figures that are essentially repaints of existing figures, you want to make sure there's something special about them, not just the different decos, but also a reason for that character to exist. And I think they've done a pretty good job with that there. And you can see the two figures right here that come in the set. We've got the Undead Warrior right here. We've got the Ringneck Gorgon right here. Um, their accessories are kind of scattered about through as well. I didn't show their extra hands. Everybody comes with those extra hands, so I didn't show those here. But um, that's essentially what comes in the pack, is what you're looking at right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a closer look at each figure individually, and uh, we'll get started with that right now. All right, first and foremost, we're going to look at the Undead Warrior from uh, the Eternal Struggle 2-pack from Vitruvian Hacks from Boss Fight Studios. Uh, as you can see, he comes with a nice assortment of 
accessories. He's got a sword there. He's got a sword right there, which is hooked into a great loop on the back of his vest. He's got a removable helmet, shield, some ornately decorated shin guards, and the spear in back there. Uh, the interesting thing about the Undead Warrior, at least at this piece, at this point in time, is that he is actually a different version of the upcoming Athenian Warrior, as well as Stone Fist. Those are both upcoming characters that come with this different sculpted chest armor with the different uh, shin guards. This, is, this, this armor and guards has, has not been seen yet in a released figure to date, which makes this figure really cool and interesting. One thing that I really love about him is, um, is this really nicely detailed chest armor. You can kind of get a good look. Even though it's, uh, it's you know translucent plastic, you can see the pattern across his chest here. You can see the additional sculpting on the shoulder pauldrons. You can see the nice layered flaps uh, on the, the skirt there. Even his helmet, I believe, looks a little bit different. It's got a little ridge um, above the eyes. So there's some different aspects to this figure that we have not seen in a figure yet, which is really neat. Same with his legs. You can kind of see some added detail work in those shin guards. And um, essentially, I mean, if you really want to nit nitpick, this figure is essentially just a repainted uh, Athenian that that Athenian guard has and that I believe Stone Fist has as well. Uh, I'm extremely excited to say that I'll be finding out, you know, firsthand exactly what those upcoming figures look like very shortly because um, Boss Fight Studio has announced that they are ship indeed shipping out the uh, remainders of the Kickstarter package, something that's got me extremely, extremely excited. Um, so this figure, obviously, you know, the accessories all are removable, just like any other figure out there. The hands are also removable, as you can see. The beautiful thing is, it's the highly articulated character kit system, so they plug right back in just like that. Um, I kind of cheated a little bit with the shield. I think we all know by now that there are some known issues with the male figure and the way they can hold the shield. So I kind of flopped his his arm, his arm wrist around the wrong way. Hey, he's undead. He doesn't have any bones, right? He can flop his wrist around any way he wants. Um, I, I wanted to have him hold the shield, though, because I really love um, this Hades kind of themed deco, this tampo pattern on the shield itself. It's really cool because most of it is kind of translucent, but that logo really shines through um, because it's not translucent. And really, you know, you could look at this figure and say, okay, so it's essentially a translucent purple blank. I mean, we're going to be getting a bunch of translucent blanks um, down the road, right? So what's so special about this guy? I, I don't really know if I can tell you what's so special about him, but he's really, really badass. You know, the minute I got him, I kind of took him out into the backyard. I did, took some pictures and I posted them up on Instagram. You can follow Generals Joes on Instagram. Just go to Instagram.com, do a search for Generals Joes. Um, I am out there. And basically, you know, I... I I just kind of stood him up, and he just caught the sunlight with his translucent purple body just right, and the result was really amazing. He looked really vibrant, really uh, really gorgeous, really. Just, just take him out in the backyard and take him a quick picture. Uh, I used a few Instagram filters, but not a whole lot. And you really get a good sense of that here, since even with the, um, the armor's slightly different shade of translucent purple, which contrasts a little bit with the rest of the body very nicely. Uh, the figure is just gorgeous. I don't even know why I love it so much. Um, I'm kind of I'm not really a stickler for realism, but you know I like my my characters kind of more real world than ghostly. Um, but this this undead warrior is simply amazing. He's a really really fun, nice looking figure that you put on your display shelf, and he stands out among the others pretty impressively. Um, so I, I really, really love what they did here. And as you can see, you can hold his weapons well. He's got you know the same base body that all the Spartans that we've seen so far have. So he has great articulation, really good balance. Again, I mentioned that because he's got that new vest from the Athenian warrior, he's got that uh, loop in the back that that holds the, uh, the sword, which is a nice touch. And it's kind of similar to what we saw with, with Talos, um, the, the loop anyway. The chest armor itself is considerably different. Talos is all kind of chain mail, and this is certainly not. It's uh, a more ornately decorated pattern on the chest. But 
Um, the Undead Warrior is, is a Servant of Hades, basically. His file card says he doesn't necessarily fight for the side of good or evil. He just kind of um, it does whatever Hades wants him to do, which is kind of neat. I mean, obviously, the theme of an eternal struggle a uh, two-pack package with the Gorgon makes you think that, well, okay, he's obviously fighting for the good side at this point, um, which may be true. But, um, you know, who knows what Hades might want him to do down the line. So you can really use these guys however you see fit. I kind of thought when I first uh, bought this baby on BossFightShop.com a few weeks ago that I'd really love the Ringneck Gorgon and um, the Undead Warrior would just kind of be a, a little perk. But my opinion has shifted dramatically, and I really find myself enjoying this figure a lot and um you know the ring neck is obviously very cool too but um but I'm, I'm finding my appreciation for this figure is outpacing uh the love that i thought i'd have for the ring neck it's just a really beautiful figure and, and this translucent purple i can't get enough of it and and i can't can't quite stop saying how much i love it so um Anyway, this is our look at the Undead Warrior from the Eternal Struggle 2-Pack. It's a fantastic figure. It's one I highly recommend that you pick up. It's one of those things that can really be very uh, uh, much appreciated in hand, a little bit more so that you can see in pictures or video. Um, but I think it's a figure that you'll really enjoy. You might get the 2-Pack for the Gorgon, but I think you'll keep it for the Undead Warrior. And um, next, I will take a look at the uh, Ringneck Gorgon itself, and we will continue from there. It's obviously very tempting to say you've seen one Gorgon figure, you've seen them all, and, you know, I've had boss fight Gorgon figures now for, um, has it been a month? Has it been a little bit more than a month? Um, you know, they're obviously very, very awesome when you first got them, really impressive design, something you'd never seen before. But now at this point, I think this is my fourth one, fifth one, you'd think, yeah, you know, the shine's kind of wearing off a little bit. Uh, and, you know, certainly the figure isn't as revolutionary as... It was the first time I took a Medusa out of the package, but I, I still can't help but be wildly impressed every time I hold one of these figures, not only because of the articulation and the sculpting, obviously that's a big part of it, but uh, the colors really, um, you know, toy color, I, I've said this in a few different places, you'll probably get tired of hearing me say it, but toy coloring is a lost art. You know, everything, so, everything these days is based on a licensed property, so driven in the real world with movies and stuff, you lose sight of what you can capture with the right color hues that aren't, you know, color hues that aren't necessarily, you know, they have elements of realism, but um, especially something like this, but uh, you don't really get the creative energy like with a translucent purple undead warrior or something like this. But with the ring neck, what Boss Fight Studio did was they looked at actual ring neck snakes. That's a type of snake that really exists in nature. And it's got this really interesting bluish purplish kind of skin tone with an orange underbelly. And obviously, as you can see, they kind of took that theme and went crazy with it on the Gorgon and to really, really great effect. I mean, that blue color is really nice. It's it's a deep, rich blue that's kind of not quite really blue. Uh, it's a variation of blue, and it, they really kind of cracked open those Pantone books and went pretty nuts finding just the right color. And, um, you know, not only the blue, but then you've got the orange underbelly here, which, you know, balances out that blue to perfection. It makes this look like a real snake, not just uh, some piece of plastic with snake-like colors painted on the top of it. It really looks like the texture and the, um, the skin color that you would see in nature, which is really amazing that they can accomplish that with just the right touches of the right kinds of color. Like pretty much all the Gorgons out there, the ring neck comes with the removable snake skull helmet, the sword, the shield, and, oh, I forgot to include the spear. She's got the little stone stone spear, too. I don't know off the top of my head if the other Gorgons came with that or not. I'm, I'm inclined to say they didn't. So that might be a new addition for her. I mean, obviously, it's the same spear I think we've seen with uh, several other figures. But this one's got kind of a stone texture to it because all the Gorgons carry these stone weapons. Um, and even little things like, you know, I, I keep on you know, focusing on these strange random things, but even the stone weapons are so nicely done. The, the paint deco, the, the right wear, the right, you know, phases of color really bring out that stone texture and really look impressive. It's, um, it's kind of amazing that even the smallest, smallest pieces of these figures are so well executed. I mean, look at that shield. 
She's got the same head as the coral snake gorgon, the kind of the calm, plotting, you know, sinister head that just kind of stares at you. And instead of the black racer, which actually is eating your face, this one just looks at you and says, I'm going to eat your face and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, the story behind the, the um, ring deck gorgon is really cool too. They kind of, on the back of the package, express how she's a brilliant tactician, kind of the planner and the plotter, quick and ruthless. Um, but it's, you know, it's... It's kind of an interesting twist. Uh, they're few in numbers. They didn't need claim. They didn't need, uh, or they're, they're few in number. And they didn't need numbers to claim victory. They're efficient and took missions in small squads because they didn't need any help. Uh, they talk about being equipped with with weapons of today, being completely unstoppable, which is a pretty neat idea. Um, you, know, you get hints throughout these po- these boxes that we're really seeing kind of a time travel, dimensional travel type of story being told here, um, and the idea that that these gorgons might stumble through some kind of portal and end up in modern day earth is pretty awesome i gotta say i I love that idea and um of course with as with any of the any of those the snake troopers her tail is completely and totally posable um the you know obviously in front of the camera when i'm being pressured to get her into a standing pose i can't but but uh but really you have to trust me on this that that pretty much any pose you want to get these figures into, you can get them into. There's the several different joints. Of course, I had that flipped around, but um, all sorts of different cool positions you can get these figures into. As you've no doubt all, I mean, anybody who's, who's looking at a boss fight, you know, Vitruvian Hacks video review probably has expressed some interest in them, probably has seen pictures online, and you know by now just how... Um, how great these figures are, how much great range of motion they have, um, how well detailed, well sculpted. They are really pretty perfect um, in nearly every every regard, um, just with their articulation, their sculpting. You know, the only the main complaints I might see from people is just, you know, they're not too into the Greek mythology theme, which I can understand. You know, actually, to, to be brutally honest, I'm not really into the Greek mythology or the Spartans or anything like that either. But to me, the toys are so great, they've kind of won me over. Um, so this is a look at the Ringneck Gorgon. It's pretty similar to the other Gorgons out there. The color scheme is gorgeous. I really like her background story. Uh, it's a really nice addition to your Gorgon horde, something that I think you'll uh, really love. And you should really you know, keep your eye out. Look out for May 14th, 2016. Boss Fight Studio will be at the Capital City Toy and Collector Show. Uh, They'll have these two packs available on sale there and on their website at the same time. So keep your eye out for it, and um, thank you for watching. We will do a quick recap, and we will go from there. This has been a look at the Eternal Struggle 2-pack from the Vitruvian Hacks line from Boss Fight Studio, a traveling convention exclusive available at bossfightshop.com anytime they are in attendance at a convention across the country or across the world. These figures are really incredible, much cooler than even I thought they would be. So uh, keep your eye out for this. And uh, that's my look at the Eternal Struggle 2-pack. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, liking the video. If you didn't like what you saw, leave me a comment and let me know why. Uh, Keep on visiting GeneralsJoes.com. Thanks, as always, to Chris McLeod from the Full Force Podcast for his help putting these together. Uh, And thank you all for watching, and stick around. There's more coming. Thanks for watching this review by Justin Bell of GeneralsJoes.com and What's on Joe Mind, and from myself, Chris McLeod, aka Diagnostic80 from The Full Force. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think on any of our numerous social networking platforms. Goodbye, and see you next time for another Generals Review.